ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Let's take a look at the Skycam Network. We've got lots of weather. Here is the Coleman view, and I'm afraid most of our views are going to look very similar. Here's the Gadsden view, although that's a little bit different because we got at least one little break in the clouds. And here's Clanton, and of course cloudy, and you can see a few raindrops on the lens. Our focus, of course, is Fay, and Fay is located over the Big Bend area, uh, primarily in the vicinity of Apalachicola this morning. The upper-level pattern is rather weak, and that means Fay is going to be sticking around for a couple, three days, but giving the southeast something we desperately need, and that is a darn good soaking. Temperatures across the U.S. are fairly warm, cool in the northwestern United States and the northern Rockies, still quite warm in the southwest. A little closer to home. From the surface map, you can see the uh, airflow uh, as you look at the the wind barbs here. And a lot of places reporting winds on the order of 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts around 30 and that good deal of rain. Uh, The tropics, of course, are our main uh, focus. And here's a look at what the Hurricane Center is watching. And the only thing I uh, would say when you look at the overall picture is, of course, you've got Fay, You've got that one approaching the Leeward Islands. You've got one just a little bit to the northeast of that. And then look at that huge cloud mass on the African continent. So we certainly have some things to watch here for uh, the next uh, few days as the tropics get active. Sea surface temperatures in the northern Gulf are still fairly warm. And here's a view of Fay, and this is the infrared picture. And uh, this is an hour or so old. Here's the radar, and you can see over the southeastern United States, uh, Fay influencing a lot of area. Here's a look at the Tallahassee radar. And also the storm total precipitation. Tallahassee has jumped up to over four inches of rain after uh, only getting a couple of inches through about 10 o'clock last night. And you can see some of the rainfall totals are fairly high on the order of 8 to 10 inches. And here's a look at the Birmingham radar, and you can see that we're getting a little bit of rain, but mostly sprinkles. Now, where's Faye headed? Well, this is the computer model plot, and uh, that's a look at all of the different models. You can see kind of a mess there, but it looks like it'll go into southern Mississippi and then stall and then finally head off to the northeast. Now, behind that, and here's, uh, by the way, here's the National Hurricane Center's uh, official track. Now, behind that is the next one approaching the Leeward or uh, Leeward Islands, Lesser Antilles, and that looks like that's going to be a Caribbean storm. And then behind that, we have another one that is, uh, if it develops at all, is going to stay on a little more northward track. Now, QPF-wise, it looks like uh, they're still forecasting on the order of 21 inches, now in the vicinity of and just north of Pensacola. And that puts uh, a pretty tight gradient across uh, north central Alabama with uh, as much as uh, five to eight inches. And uh, that is probably not out of the questions when you consider that Fay will be sticking around for the next several days. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has outlooked a, a fairly large area of southeast Alabama, northern Florida, and southern Georgia for a slight risk of severe weather today. And a lot of that, of course, is going to depend on how many breaks in the clouds we get and what kind of heating we get. All right, let's go to the 06Z GFS model run. And there's Faye, and this is the surface pattern for today at midday. And there's the surface pattern for tomorrow. Faye is going to chug along steadily into southern Mississippi by Sunday. But by Monday, you can see that the the pressure pattern showing that not much motion to Faye. As a matter of fact, not much motion even through Tuesday, although Faye begins to edge off to the northeast on Tuesday, located in the vicinity of Tuscaloosa. Those 500 millibar pattern westerlies are way to our north, but beginning to finally pick up Fay, and Fay heads off up into the central Appalachians, giving some rain to those folks up there. By Thursday, Fay is uh, producing some rain across the uh, mid-Atlantic states and up into New England, although you really can't identify it. By Friday, we're back into a pattern where we're going to see showers, and uh, it's GFS painting Alabama dry, but I think you'll have to include showers. By Saturday, you can see the ridge over the southeastern U.S., and there's the reflection of Fay heading out into the uh, Atlantic, and a large high-pressure surface, uh, high-pressure system over the southeastern Great Lakes. 
nosing in across much of the eastern half of the country. And then by uh, Sunday, the 31st of August, there we go, large ridge and just uh, air mass showers and thunderstorms. All right, let's go out into voodoo land. And it certainly looks like the ridge is going to continue with us. And uh, that means just air mass showers and thunderstorms. That's the 4th of September. And then finally, as we get out into the very end, 372 hours, looks like the GFS is uh, sharpening the pattern up quite a lot as the westerlies dive down into the eastern half of the country. And with that, we see a cold frontal system coming down in, meaning we might see some rain, but also the GFS getting pretty hot in the tropics with something in the Atlantic and something in the Pacific. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I'll uh, be filling in for Ashley today and then Jason on Monday. Hope that you have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. God bless. Weather, 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 weather.